My name is Jerry Hajar. I'm a professor and department chair in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Northeastern University. We are working on developing healthy, secure, and resilient communities. When we speak about community resilience, we're looking at both uh, ability to resist major hazards, uh, such as earthquakes, hurricanes, uh, but also economic resilience. So ways for retrofitting and renewing infrastructure uh, that is uh, crumbling. Uh, ways to expand our urban environments um, in a, a cost-effective manner. I've been mostly working on a variety of uh, approaches for earthquake engineering. So this would be developing new types of building or bridge systems that are better able to withstand uh, large earthquakes, uh, appropriate for the high seismic zones around the world, and also working on some strategies for low to moderate seismic zones like would be appropriate in the, in the Boston area. Right now, oftentimes, structures are designed, for example, for a 50-year life. We've been developing new methods for using replaceable energy dissipating fuses in structures. And so here, we would design most of the building to rock freely from its foundations uh, and then focus the energy from an earthquake into replaceable fuses and then use vertical post tensioning to be able to have the building uh, self right back to plumb after a major event and then you can pop out the old fuses, put in the new ones, and uh, the building is ready to go uh, for the next major event. This would allow us to uh, design structures to withstand multiple events over a period of time. It makes them more sustainable. So we are starting to look at a variety of new materials that can be used in civil infrastructure. Examples can be new types of concrete materials, also new types of metals. They're starting to generate a variety of new metals that are meant to cut down on the use of greenhouse gases. Another example of some research we're doing is on steel foams. These are, uh, this is steel material that has inert gases injected into it uh, or uh, steel material that is made up of very small balls that are then sintered together into a coherent unit. And uh, this is essentially steel that is much lighter weight than traditional steel material. And so you can uh, develop structures using these that are much lighter weight, uh, that use less material, and uh, therefore are more sustainable. And when you start to put together some of these concepts, you can come up with some very interesting systems.